shalom and welcome back to Kingdom Obedience Ministries. Welcome back, welcome back to the channel family. And today's prophetic word is going to be based off of a dream that I just had recently on September the 30th of 2021 of this year. So I had a dream that I would I checked my account balance and there was a thousand dollars in it and I didn't know how it got there. In the dream, I just remember being shocked and then the dream kind of like faded away. I couldn't remember the rest. But the father brought me back to this dream. He broke it down for me to release in this hour. So the part where I check my account balance means accounts are a major source of transferring and receiving money. You are open for financial blessings to enter your life. Your financial status is about to change in a positive way. Good news is about to enter your life. It will be something that has the ability to change your life in a major way. So the part where there was a thousand dollars and I didn't know where it came from means you're about to very likely receive money from an unexpected source. The number one in Hebrew means new beginnings. You have closed out many cycles. This is your first start. God is rewarding you. The number one also applies to the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. What is what is about to take place in your life will be from the Most High. God wants to bless you in every way possible. It pleases Him to heap blessings upon you. God's desire is for you to live an abundant life, not financially struggle. God is looking for ways to bless you. If you chase after God, money will chase after you. And the things that come from the Lord will not cause any sorrow. God is not opposed to riches. In fact, he is the originator of financial blessings. Proverbs 10 and 22 reads, The blessings of the Lord makes one rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. Psalms 35 and 27, Let the Lord be magnified, who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. The first time the Bible mentions someone with a lot of money, it speaks of righteous man Abraham, Genesis 13 and 2. And Abram was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. God is not against money. God is against loving money. Our purpose and calling is to finance the investments of the kingdom of God. There is no greater level of blessings and provision that you can experience when you find out what God wants you to do with your life. When you know who you are, you can become bold and confident and you can be militant, follow the dreams that God has for the nations. You can step out fiercely because he will provide for you. Then the father led me to Luke 14 and 28 and it reads, For which of you intending to build a tower does not sit down first and count the cost, whether he has enough to finish it. Amen. Here Jesus teaches that it is absolutely important to budget before you start a large project because without finances, you will not be able to complete the project. You are God's project. And before he start building your future, he made sure that there was financial provision for it. Our arrival here was carefully planned by God and he knows what he wants to do for us for his kingdom. We are called for big things that require huge resources. When we pursue our purpose, we are fulfilling God's plans for his kingdom and he will provide those needs. Just as a large project requires large finances, so does our individual purposes require supernatural finances. Family. The Father is saying in this hour, your financial status is about to change. The Father is saying blessings, financial blessings are here. Supernatural financial blessings are on their way to your door, beloved. The Father is saying, get ready. He is doing it in this hour, family. You're about to read, you're about to receive unexpected financial blessings, surprise financial blessings. The Father is saying now, do not limit me, beloved. Do not limit me, beloved. I am coming through for you in this hour. I am proud of you, beloved. You have pulled through. You have closed out every cycle that was in your bloodline. I am financially blessing you in this hour. Supernatural blessings are on their way to you, beloved. Supernatural blessings are on their way to you, my child. Supernatural blessings are are on their way to you, the apple of my eye. The Father is saying in this hour, family, get ready for financial blessings, supernatural financial blessings, unexpected financial blessings. Family, receive this prophetic word. Receive this prophetic word from the Father, from the throne, from the Most High. The Father is saying in this hour, financial blessings are on their way to you, beloved. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. Kisses. God loves you. I love you. Shalom.